Hey guys, is something that you're counting as a blessing actually a curse? Got a minute? Let's look at scripture. Look, I know you are depending on Egypt, that splintered reed of a staff which pierces the hand of anyone who leans on it, such as Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all who depend on him. So they're talking about Israel leaning on Egypt. In the Old Testament, a lot of times whenever we see Egypt, we think of the world. Moses helped lead people out of Egypt in the same way we want to come out from what it is, the sinful world. So now the Israelites are depending on Egypt. They're depending on something from the world in order to meet a need for them. So they're comparing that to a staff that's splintered, and as you lean on it, that breaking away, your hand becomes pierced, and maybe even stuck to this staff. In the same way, there are things in this world that we rely on, that we spend time leaning on, and we use it in order to get to a goal, but it's not good for us. As a public school teacher for many years, I've watched families lean on and rely on the public school education system in order to raise their child. And then we want to be upset whenever we have somebody that doesn't have the same morals as us that's teaching our child different morals or different thought processes. And we want to critique and criticize it whenever we should be the one that should be carrying it, not leaning on the staff. And that's just one example of many things that can seem like blessings. We're relying on the world, but then all of a sudden we actually get stuck. And we get stuck giving out or giving away our responsibility and our calling. Write down what your calling is and what you're called to do. And are you giving everything you have to that calling? Or are you renting it out to somebody else? Thanks for taking a minute.